Wouldn't it be wonderful to break free from overthinking? And it really can look like that's an actual thing that you have to do, can't it? It, re it really can. I, I know for a long time I would have categorised myself as an overthinker and it looked like it was something I had to resolve in some way through various tools and techniques that trying to control my thinking, trying to not overthink, which <laughs> sounds really silly to me now, but I can see why for a long time it made perfect sense that if I were to be able to experience a calm life, but particularly for me, 3 a.m. in the morning, if I was going to be able to stop waking up at 3 a.m. in the morning, stop that awful mind chatter that used to keep me awake, then I had to find a way, I thought, of controlling this overthinking. And that sent me down all sorts of interesting rabbit holes, you might call them. Just trying to fix it, really. Now, if you've listened to any more of my content, you'll know that for me now, this whole idea of needing to fix anything to do with the psychology or really anything to do with the emotional state of us just makes less and less sense as time goes on. And that is because really our psychology is transient anyway. Maybe we're never really overthinking. It's an odd phrase, isn't it? When you think overthinking, can we actually be doing too much thinking? It sounds to me like if we really were, perhaps our head would explode. <laughs> and, and I'm afraid that sometimes it felt like mine would, <laughs> not so long since. But maybe there isn't such a thing. But maybe there is, is us focusing on it. Maybe there is us trying to fix it, trying to get it to stop. Now, the thing here is to realise that it's all psychology. So let's just say that there is something called overthinking that, that, that we're doing. And then there's us thinking about the overthinking. And I mean, being having the label of it, where did that come from? And how do we even know whether I'm overthinking to the same rate of, as you or a lower rate or a higher rate? Or like all of that is really interesting, isn't it? So how have, how have we even come up with the label of overthinking? It's not helpful, is it? But the more we think about overthinking, it, it's more thinking, isn't it, really? It's more thinking about thinking. It's thinking about how to solve thinking. It's thinking that there's a problem. And, and it, I guess quite a lot of the time overthinking probably creates a horrible sort of anxious feeling in our body. And that's probably because it's very similar in nature, I think. Because how I see it in terms of anxiety is that we we experience something. A thought, an experience of a sensation in the body. Uh, one of my clients used to call them angry butterflies. We experience something. Something's happening within us. And as we experience that, it doesn't become a problem, the experience there, until we believe that it is a problem. So we might notice that there's quite a lot of thinking. That's all relative, remember. That's our mind making that up, that there is a problem with how much thinking we have. I'm quite still quite a fast thinker. Um, you know, I ask Bruce a question or, I, you know, ask him to do something and I, I find myself getting frustrated because he's not, he doesn't do things quite as fast as me. And I, I am just a very fast person, quite a sped, <laughs> sped up person. So, so do, do I still overthink? I don't know. But when we think it's a problem, whatever's going on inside our head or inside our body, when we think that is a problem, then the mind wakes up and says, oh, well, I know how to fix that. But there's an irony there because it's the mind that's made the thing out to be a problem in the first place. 
if the mind wasn't saying that's not supposed to be there, there there would be no there would be no problem. There would just be thoughts moving across a mind body system. There would just be anxious feelings moving through the body. There wouldn't really be anything to do. It's the mind story that is feeding the whole system. And, you know, the sad thing is, is that so much of the self-development world is saying this. It's saying, you know, there's a thing called overthinking and here's a whole list of tools and techniques to help you to fix it. And, And it's not really good if you've got it, this thing called overthinking. What is it, though? Like, does it really even exist or is it just a tuning in process where we've heard there's this thing called overthinking. Oh, it's not very good for you. Tune in, tune in, tune in. And now I perceive that I have it, this thing called overthinking. I think it's happening with so many of these labels now where some labels that nobody ever spoke about a few years ago. And now everybody seems to have these things. I just think there's a tuning in process going on where we're, oh, overthinking do I have that is that what's going on in my head well of course immediately you're thinking about overthinking I guarantee that you your mind will be becoming more busy and and really what I'm pointing to in in this and these videos and the thriving woman approach is a, a falling away of all of that it is is seeing how much the mind is creating the stories creating the idea there's a thing called overthinking there's something that's wrong with you it's something you need to deal with like can you hear that even if there was a thing called overthinking the mind stories about that are just more 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 thinking and that doesn't make us feel good now in a way that's helpful i find it so helpful now to be able to just Pause, like now, just pause for a minute. So what are you doing for a minute? Just feel your body for a minute. Even for a few seconds, just feel that. Feel what's going on in your body. Because when we do that, we start to really tune in and see that there's something conscious or unconscious going on in the mind and that there's the body responding to that with tension, with discomfort with whatever you want to call it a tightening of the system and that's our lovely warning system to let us know that we are focusing on certain things in our mind and when we start to see this when we start to almost fall back into this place of much gentler awareness like I see that where, where we're caught up in it, it's overthinking, I've got to get rid of it, how do I get rid of it? There's so much heaviness and there's so much seriousness and there's so much like determination to get rid of it. Whereas when, when we sort of relax back and we say, oh, that's interesting, just observing our thinking, noticing it, it's transient journey, it's temporary nature, the emotions that come with that, noticing their temporary nature. And, and, and I guess dropping the judgment. How do you know you're overthinking? Well, because you think you're overthinking. So you don't ever know. Like I said, what's my overthinking compared to your overthinking compared to somebody else's overthinking? I guess we don't really know, do we? And so maybe we could look towards the idea that um, we're not overthinking at all. We just think we are. And, 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 and sort of even when we just start to play around in there, like the poke little holes in that, we might just notice that there's, there's this stillness in there. There's a little bit of quiet in there. And that that's really available all the time. 
it's really available every time we sort of disconnect, disconnect or disengage with thought, which is a really powerful thing to see. So thank you so much for uh, checking in here and watching this video and listening in. I hope that you found it helpful and I'd love to uh, hear your thoughts and I hope to uh, see you again on another one. Thanks so much. Bye.